ladies, how are you doing? We are going to do a mid-month mental health check-in today, yes. How are you ladies doing? How are you guys doing? How are you? I have some teenagers that stop by and say, hello, mental health is important for us too. Yes, it's important for every single one. Whether you are an adult, you are a teenager, you are a young teenager, you're an older adult, mental health is important for all of us. So I wanted to do a mid-month check-in. Yes, I normally only do one in the month, but I thought, you know what? With this crazy holiday season, all these things going on, we need to check in and see how everybody's doing. I I hope you guys follow me on my social medias, which is Facebook. If you don't have a Facebook, I'm on Instagram. Every other day or every day I post something, I, you know, sometimes just post my coffee of the day or whatever, but I post something on there. And if you guys follow me, I always try to post something that is uplifting, something that will, you know, get you motivated for the day. Or sometimes I just show my grandbaby. I don't know if I told you guys I have a grandbaby too, yes. I'm going to try to get him on here this month too so you guys can see my little cute True is what his name is. I post him on my Instagram and Facebook as well. So I hope you guys are following me on there as well because I only upload videos once a week. But for the holidays, for all of that, I may do a couple. It... I plan to one day do two a week. First of all, I like to get more followers, you know, get you guys commenting, all that good stuff. Know that I'm putting out there what you want to hear and see. So I don't want to just be doing videos. So I want to make sure I'm doing whatever you guys would like to hear and whatever you guys would like to see. So I thought I'd do a mid-month check-in to see how everybody's doing. Cause you know, sometimes when you're on social media, you see that people are having issues or saying, you know, they don't want to live. Sometimes during this time of the year, it gets really sad for some people because they are alone. They don't have any family where they live or they're just a single person. They're not dating. They're not married. Um, or they're a teenager and they are like struggling with depression. And sometimes the holidays make it a little bit more, um, I think overwhelming for people because everyone seems to be out there shopping, having fun, doing this, doing that. And sometimes some people that struggle with depression, it gets even worse during the holiday seasons. Um, sometimes even, um, suicide, all of that tend to go higher during the holiday season. So I wanted to come and check in on my community, see how everybody's doing. I want you guys to um, comment and tell me how you're doing, um, you know, so far during the holiday season. Tell me what you're doing um, to keep yourself upbeat, to keep yourself you know, uplifted during the holiday season. It's not about all of the gifts, guys. I stopped giving all of these gifts years ago. When my kids became adults, I stopped all of this. When they were little, oh my gosh, Christmas and all of this stuff was a huge deal. I would find myself stressing over, you know, buying them this, buying them that. But as they begun to be teenagers and adults, I still, because it's not about that. It's not about, because I feel like you should be loving people and giving if you can during the entire year, not just one day of the year. You know, if you love your family, if you love your kids, love people, love your husband, love your wife, you should be doing these things throughout the year, not just um, on one day of the year. If that's the case, then you're really not being very loving and you know or whatever if you're only doing all these certain things on one time a year this should be throughout the year that you think of someone and it doesn't always have to be expensive gifts it should sometimes be just a flower i used to love when i was married i used to love for my ex-husband to bring me just flowers and i let him know that i like flowers you know so he would bring them to my work he would have them at the door when i got home from work or, you know, there's things that are so less expensive that we could let people know that we love them and we care for them throughout the year. So 
to make a long story short, I'm not a huge Christmas gift giver anymore. Now, I have some grandkids, I got a grandbaby. Um, you know, I thought about him, but I've been, you know, celebrating his birth and celebrating him from day one. So I don't see myself spending a lot of money for Christmas because I feel like what I want for him to have, I want him to have it every single day. It's not on a, he don't even know what Christmas is, you know? Or sometimes guys, don't spend so much money on your kids. I'm telling you, I, I was talking to my daughter one day about Christmas and all the stuff I used to do. And she's like, oh, they don't even be remembering girls. So don't spend all your money on one day of the year. S buy them things, do things for your children throughout the entire year. Don't make it a one day thing. I'm telling you, don't do it. Okay, so anyway, that was my little nibbies on, you know, the holiday season and checking in on you guys. I just want to make sure everybody's okay. I just want to make sure everybody is feeling happy. If you're not feeling happy, guys, get up and do something. Get up and clean up your house. Get up and go walk around the mall. You know, even if you don't have money to spend, just go walk around, go have you um, a pretzel or whatever you like that's in the mall. I can't stand those pretzels, but you know, some people love them. You know, go get your pretzel, go get you a drink and walk around the mall. Um, go visit someone, go to a nursing home where there are people that don't see anyone a lot of days out of the week and they are alone. Go and visit some elderly people in the nursing home and just take them Christmas cards. You make out some Christmas cards and take them to the elderly people. Let's do something. Let's let's just enjoy ourselves. Let's be happy. And we are going to get more into mental health. Uh, mental health is really, really important to me. I myself, when I was young, a teenager, I myself, when uh, I was younger, I really, really struggled with depression. I one time had a blog on depression. I talked about the depression that I was going through, some of the anxiety, the things that I would go through. And I kind of just fell off of that blog, but I'm thinking now I want to get back on there because I'm in a really good place now. And I have been for a while and I learned some things through my depression. I learned some things uh, that helped me and that I feel like would help someone else. So you guys stay tuned. If you like these mental health videos, please share them. Please make sure to like them because if you like them, that's how we as content creators know, influencers, you know, know that you like our content is when you like the video. So like those videos, guys, because I want to dive deeper into the depression, dive deeper into the anxiety, all that stuff that um, we all go through. Don't think that you are by yourself. Some people feel like, oh, nobody's going through this but me. That's a lie. We all have gone through some type of anxiety, depression, or is going through it, or one day may go through it. So I want to talk about that later. You know, if you guys are interested, I don't want to be out here putting my business out on the street if you don't want to hear it, if you don't care. If you want to know more about what I, how I, um, got over depression, if I'm getting over, let's say getting over, because depression can hit you at any time of your life. It can hit you when you're a teenager. It can hit you um, when you're a young adult. It can hit you in your older years. So you never know if you may stumble over that again. So I won't say that I'm, you know, don't would ever deal with it again, but I am in a great place in my life. And I would love to talk about it. I really would. I'd love to talk about some of the struggles I went through. I I really would like to one day really just dive into a lot of things that I've dealt with in my life, um, in my childhood, in uh, my young adult. And now I would love to talk about it. But first of all, I want to know if you guys want to even hear me. How about that? Okay. Alrighty. So I'm going to cut it short. I'm going to let you guys go. But I do want to say just have a good Christmas. A good Christmas starts with you knowing and saying, I'm going to have a good day. I'm going to enjoy myself. I don't care who's out there. Maybe you don't have a job right now and you can't shop like other people. Just be happy. Just say, you know what? I'm happy because I woke up this morning. I'm happy because I'm going to do better next year. This is what I'm going to do next year for the people that I love. You know, just be grateful for the day. Be grateful for the moment. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are blessed. I hope you're having a good month.
and I hope you continue to have a good month. This will go up probably around the 15th of December. Um, just this mid-month check-in. Bye guys. Thank you. Please like, please share, and please subscribe.